we will release an amazing new model this year. I don't know what we'll call it. Is ChatGPT5 coming? OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman recently hinted at exciting developments on the Lex Fridman podcast. He mentioned a series of upcoming AI tools his company are working on, including a potential successor to ChatGPT4. Yeah, you heard that right. While he remained coy about the exact name they're going to give it, Altman said it's going to be an amazing AI tool. After listening to his statement, I was wondering how amazing or powerful it could potentially be. So I started digging and found that OpenAI allowed some of its enterprise clients to experience GPT-5 through demos. One CEO who saw a version of GPT-5 described it as really good and materially better. OpenAI showcased the new model using unique use cases and data relevant to the CEO's company. And additionally, there are hints that GPT-5 will have capabilities allowing AI agents to perform tasks autonomously. Yeah, you heard that right too. One thing is for sure though, ChatGPT has come a long way since its first release in 2020. Back then, OpenAI introduced GPT-3, a large language model that surprised the world with its ability to generate human quality text. It wasn't quite ready for public release though, so researchers, well, they kept on tinkering. Two years later, in late 2022, they unveiled ChatGPT, a chatbot powered by a fine-tuned version of GPT-3.5. This was the first time users could interact directly with OpenAI language generation technology, and it quickly became a popular tool for conversation and creative writing. OpenAI wasn't satisfied though with just incremental improvements, they continued developments on the core GPT model, and in late 2023, they released GPT-4. This significant update brought major advancements in logical reasoning and access to broader factual knowledge. The success of OpenAI compelled many tech giants to launch their own language models. For example, Google, which is the number one competitor of OpenAI, launched its own chatbot, which was previously called Bard, and then got rebranded as Gemini in 2024. And this is just one example. Tech giants like Anthropic, Perplexity and Bing are all racing to develop their own AI-powered chatbots, as evidenced by Anthropic's recent major update, and you can find more details in this video about that subject. Despite its pioneering role, OpenAI's ChatGPT has faced challenges over the past year. First, a lack of significant upgrades has allowed newer AI tools to capture user attention. Second, ongoing legal disputes with Elon Musk have cast a shadow over the project, and you can learn more about the dispute between OpenAI and Elon Musk in this video. Now, in 2024, to deal with all these challenges, OpenAI is gearing up to launch the next iteration, GPT-5, or whatever they're going to call it. So what is the GPT-5 model like? Well, there's not too much data available on this matter officially by OpenAI, but whatever data I could gather and what experts think, I have presented here. Like its predecessors, GPT-5 is expected to be a multimodal large language model. It can accept both text and encoded visual input, referred to as a prompt. Similar to GPT-4, GPT-5 will be a next token prediction model, which means it predicts the most likely next token, a fragment of a word. This capability enables tasks such as sentence completion and code generation. Now let's talk about improvements in comparison to existing models. One of the most anticipated improvements in GPT-5 is its enhanced contextual awareness, which refers to the model's ability to understand and interpret language within a specific context. Now this could involve factors such as the speaker's intent the conversational history and the broader situational context. With improved contextual awareness, GPT-5 could provide more relevant and appropriate responses by accounting for the nuances of language and the specific context in which it was used. This would enable more natural and human-like conversations, as well as better comprehension of idiomatic expressions, sarcasm, and figurative language. Another improvement in this model is its ability to handle ambiguity and nuances. Natural language is is often riddled with ambiguities and subtle little nuances, which can be challenging for language models to interpret accurately. GPT-5 is expected to demonstrate enhanced capabilities in handling these ambiguities and by understanding some of the nuances of language. Now, this could involve improved word sense disambiguation, where the model can accurately identify the intended meaning of words based on the context, as well as better comprehensions of connotations, tone, and implied meanings. By handling 
handling ambiguities and nuances more effectively, GPT-5 could provide more precise and contextually appropriate responses, reducing the misunderstandings and miscommunications. One of the challenges faced by previous language models has been the potential for generating outputs that contain factual inaccuracies or misinformation. Now, ChatGPT-5 is expected to incorporate advanced, fast checking and verification mechanisms to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the information it provides. Now, this could involve cross-referencing multiple authoritative sources, evaluating the credibility of the information and identifying potential inconsistencies or contradictions. Now, by incorporating robust fact-checking capabilities, GPT-5 could become a more trustworthy source of information, reducing the risk of propagating misinformation or providing inaccurate responses. And possibly Elon Musk would finally be happy with OpenAI. Another anticipated, Another anticipated improvement in GPT-5 is its enhanced deduction capabilities. Now, this all refers to the model's ability to draw logical conclusions, make inferences, and engage in deductive reasoning based on the information provided. With stronger logical reasoning abilities, GPT-5 could tackle more complex problem-solving tasks, analyze and synthesize information from multiple sources, and provide well-reasoned explanations and justifications for its outputs. This would be particularly valuable in domains such as research, decision-making and data analysis, where logical reasoning and deduction well, are essential. Now, GPT-5 is expected to build upon the multimodal capabilities introduced in GPT-4, further integrating with other data modalities such as images, audio and video. This would enable the model to process and generate outputs that combine multiple modalities, enhancing its versatility for the range of applications it can support. Now, for example, what does that mean? GPT-5 could generate textual descriptions or captions for images, transcribe and summarize audio or video content, or even even generate multimedia content by combining text with the relevant images or videos. This multimodal integration would open up new possibilities for tasks such as content creation, multimedia analysis and interactive communication. The integration of multimodal capabilities in GPT-5, well it could unlock a wide range of potential applications and use cases across various domains such as creative industries where GPT-5 could assist in the creation of multimedia content such as interactive stories, video scripts, or multimedia presentations, combining text, images, and video in engaging and immersive ways. By generating textual descriptions for visual and audio content, GPT-5 could improve accessibility for individuals with disabilities, enabling them to better understand and engage with multimedia content. And multimodal capabilities could even enhance the educational materials and training resources, allowing for the creation of interactive and multimedia rich learning experiences. I mean, GPT-5 could also potentially be used in the development of interactive entertainment experiences, things like video games or virtual reality applications, by generating dynamic narratives and multimedia content based on user interaction. I mean, in the medical field, GPT-5 could assist in the analysis and interpretation of medical images, videos or audio recordings, providing valuable insights and supporting diagnostic processes. GPT-5's ability to process and understand multiple modalities could facilitate advanced multimedia analysis tasks such as content moderation, sentiment analysis or identifying patterns and insights across various data sources. But now comes the most important question. When do we expect GPT-5? So uh, when is GPT-5 coming out again? I don't know. That's an honest answer. Oh, that's the honest answer. Is it blink twice if it's this year? <laughs> when Lex Fridman asked Sam Altman about the release date of ChatGPT-5, the CEO replied, I don't know. For now, there is no official release date from OpenAI, but rumors say it could be released this coming summer. Business Today reported on the matter, saying the launch timeline of ChatGPT-5 has not officially been confirmed, but it is set for a mid-year release, potentially in the summer. Before GPT-5, OpenAI might launch some other cool AI tools. For example, their latest AI video creation tool, Sora uh, I think AI. Before we talk about like a GPT-5-like model called that or called or not called that or a little bit worse or a little bit better than what, what you'd expect from a GPT-5, I think we have a lot of other important things to release first. 
In the podcast, Sam Altman said that they are planning to release a lot of other important things. So what could those be? Well, some speculate there might be ChatGPT 4.5 as well before ChatGPT 5. While researching more on this rumour, I came across an article that says ChatGPT 4.5 was supposed to be launched in September, October of last year. So it's very likely that we'll see more amazing AI tools such as Sora or DALI by OpenAI in addition to ChatGPT 5. But to wrap up this video, the highly anticipated release of GPT-5 promises to push the boundaries of AI language models, advancements in understanding context, handling ambiguity, fact-checking, logical reasoning, and even integrating different content formats like text and image positions in GPT-5 to revolutionize industries and open exciting new possibilities for collaboration between humans and AI. However, we must also consider the ethical implications and responsible development of such powerful technologies. How can we ensure that GPT-5 and future AI models are designed and deployed in a way that prioritise fairness, transparency and accountability? As we stand on the cusp of this technological breakthrough, it's crucial to ponder. How can we harness this immense potential of AI while mitigating its risks and upholding fundamental human values?